Hey guys, it's JD with the Homestead Gamer. I figured I would uh, do a farm video since we've been doing so many game videos since Kirby just came out. And uh, I know we probably have two different sets of demographics out there, people that game and people that homestead. And uh, there's definitely some overlap there. But um, I figured I would talk about our chicken coop real quick. Uh, I didn't know anything about chicken coops and my friend uh, Steven helped me. Uh, whole bunch i just keep calling him and being like hey what do i do now um but i bought this chicken coop at tractor supply online it was the biggest one i could find which i was hoping i'd be able to walk in and i can barely walk in it but uh it's pretty good i've enjoyed it so far now that i understand how it actually works uh, if anybody else is in the same boat as me um never had chickens before so um it's pretty cool and he told me some things to look for but it works i would recommend it i don't really know uh i don't have any affiliate links or anything cool like that to share but i'll show you what it is and you can google tractor supply yourself if you're interested but um we've got two big chickens that steven gifted us and we have uh eight little chicks that are now getting in with our lunch ladies our meat birds over there um through the electric fence which i don't particularly know how that happened but i guess they're scrounging for corn and whatever the meat birds are eating um but uh, we have 10 meat birds lunch ladies i call them because they smell interesting when they were in the garage so i quickly as quickly as i could moved them outside and i'll show you the setup for for that too but here's our chicken coop it's a uh pretty decent size and it's got some neat features that i didn't know were features but it came pretty well pre-assembled but this is where the uh the big girls roost at night they come up the steps here in here and they just chill on this and sleep standing up on these uh here you don't have to put cedar here i had some and uh, it seems to help it clean easily and it soaks up any moisture or anything and then here's where they generally lay their eggs in one of these when the chicks were staying up here they uh, i had a heat lamp that i put up here and they would kind of gather under there not like as tiny chicks but whenever it was suitable to put them out I think after like a month or so, um, maybe a little bit more, we put them out here and they were pretty well feathered, but they were getting pecked by the big ones, like traumatized. Um, so I decided to put them just in a black thing down here with their heat lamp, uh, just a bin, the little $10 bins or whatever that had the extra. So I put that down here. So now the chicks stay down here and the big girls stay up here. Um, and our chickens free range so i do keep this door closed my kids go in it and play around in there and whatever but um they got their drinker hey girls and these girls roam all around as you can see this end hatch is open all the time pretty well i do close it at night and then i'll close that little slidey barn door thing up there uh at night also just to keep any Keep them kind of separated even though they don't at night time they go in by themselves and they just kind of chill and in the morning they come out by themselves if it's open if they don't they'll open it up and they'll all run away and they've been coexisting pretty well with our little chicks uh i say little they're easter eggers uh there they are hey chickies but uh you can see my intricate power system here i've got run uh that's to run a heat lamp here and then I took the bin that the, they were in, that the lunch ladies were in, I tipped it over and put a light on it. And then they got their drinker and their feeders hanging from a tree over there. Um, but yeah, this is speckles and freckles here. And then, like I said, if I can find them, oh, they're over on the wood pile. All these girls are just roaming around. They don't go far. Um, they will go down by the house and uh, they'll kind of greet you if you if you roll up here. Um, but 
yeah this chicken coop opens from both sides i really like that and that top thing opens over there um, we did have a mishap before we started filming stuff where the heat lamp fell and i had the wire protector off of it and it just rested on the ground and actually burnt a hole through the floor of the hen house and you can actually see it right there which is uber interesting uh so i just cut up some luon and put it in there kind of patched it back um they do roost here a little bit but they just kind of chicken around all day so uh it's kind of neat and then our lunch ladies which i guess our other chicks got out i don't see any non-lunch ladies in here are not the most beautiful fowl uh this fence is electric netting that we have um you see there's a a different slightly different color lunch lady um and that's for their protection to keep any predators out they see me coming and they would think that i am getting food for them and as you can see they have food and they have strewn it all about um, but this is considered free ranging people always assume that there's absolutely no fence in free ranging and there definitely is a fence it's just in a bigger area so they are as happy as can be out here they were not particularly loving being in that bin right there but uh, since i moved them out here they really seem to enjoy scratching around and looking for bugs and grasses and whatever um, which is kind of supplemental to these guys diet um, of course the other reason i call them lunch ladies is these are meat birds they are raised for the purpose of uh, meat chick-fil-a birds i guess is another way to call them um they will be full size in about three months from the time that they're hatched and they'll actually be so big that like they're kind of gonna perish whether or not they are eaten um so they'll be prepared and processed here in another month and a half i think so we'll see wanted to do a quick video of our chickens and kind of what's up with them out here i uh, hope you guys enjoy it uh, if you want to comment and let me know what other stuff you want to see i'll probably do jason and i had a meeting a couple weeks ago talking about what we're going to put on here and of course video game walkthroughs is part of it but we have a lot of homesteading to do and homesteading stuff as you probably noticed our garden doesn't have anything in it so we'll do a video when we plant that we'll wait until easter after easter for that that's kind of when our last uh frost for the season is um, so we can plant then and uh do some other stuff so let me know if there's anything particular we'll do one on the sheep and uh we happen to have a lot of interesting things happen as we're going through uh life here like the hole in the chicken coop so um as those happen i'll try to video that as well because uh, i think they're funny because if you don't laugh then you cry so uh anyway uh hopefully we'll get that stuff out quickly and you guys have a good day thanks <laughs>